Say hello. Hey guys. We are here with Bree and Dukes F1B, I'm sorry, F1BB Mini Golden Doodle Babies. And they are five and a half weeks old. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Hey there, baby girl. Hey there, baby girl. I'll say, I'm gonna put these two together. Here we have the big kahuna and a little girl. This dark blue collar boy is actually, he's going to be considered a medium. He is incredibly large. He is not a miniature, he is a medium. And he's kind of a, a light peanut butter color with white markings on his chest. And there was a foot marking too, right down there. Yeah, or paw, excuse me. Let's get that goober out of your hair. Anyway, he's incredibly sweet, and he has a, a curly, um, thicker fleece coat. And the smallest of the litter, our little green collar girl, she's kind of a creamy color. And come back, come back, come back. Creamy color here. Yeah, she's running around. She is, um, she has a, a cotton fleece mix to her. She doesn't have a lot, a huge amount of fleece. But she'll probably look a little more curly than, say, Purple Girl here. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Are you trying to kiss? Are you trying to kiss? So Purple Collar Girl is white. And um, she has the only wavy coat of the litter. It's a soft cotton wavy coat. Now, these wavy coats don't shed. Even though they're wavy, they do not shed. Big sound behind us. Okay, here is Dark Pink Collar Girl. And she's... I guess would be, um, I mean, if we put, let's put white next to her and you can see a difference here between white and this is like a very, very diluted peanut butter color. So, oh, very little there, but it's not, um, she's definitely not white. So more of a creamy color is kind of what we're calling her. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? And she's the one, she's getting a little more, a little more black on the nose, but we don't expect it to be all black. And then there's Orangey Boy. He's kind of in between the peanut butter colors. He's in between the blue collar and dark pink collar girl. And he has a thick, curly fleece coat. Don't you? They all, look at this, those are dude eyes. They have their daddy's eyes. Yeah! Do you want me to pet you? Is that what you're wanting? Yeah? So you probably notice Bree's puppies aren't as, um, you know, running around wild as the others. That's just been, that's a Bree and Duke breeding. They're just a little more chill, a little more relaxed. Did you catch a star? Did you? Get it, get it. So they've had their temperament testing and I'm gonna be sending that out to our owners here. Um, it'll be Wednesday, I believe, and we'll be sending that out. Did he go outside? Or now you can see colors a little better here. Everybody's over there together. It's hard to tell the, the whites and the and the creams unless they're all together. Yes, hi. You're just so sweet, aren't you? You are just so sweet. Yeah. So um, dark blue is absolutely the biggest, a medium. Closer to a medium is probably orange collar. He's gonna be up there. He's definitely a big guy. Um, but I mean, he's not, <laughs> he's not as heavy as blue, but he's definitely a big guy. So anybody wanting mediums, orange and blue are definite possibilities there. Anybody wanting minis, a uh, little purple girl there, the girls, I guess the girls are the smallest of, uh, and of course little bright or lime green collar girl. She is the absolute smallest in the litter. Yes. She just has a smaller structure. Definitely smaller than the others. Um, next to her, um, the next largest would be dark pink, purple, orange, and then blue. Yeah, you got that elephant. Get it! What do you think? What do you do, huh? What are you doing? Lime Green just wants to get up here and play. Yes, yeah, you wanna be loved on, don't you? Oh, you heard me? Okay, I'll love on you. I can't describe these cotton coats. These cotton coats are just, yeah. Total softness. I gotcha. Aw, I love it when they put their legs out behind them. That always gets me. Even the adults. 
I love that look. I'll get you now. I'll get you now. <gasps> Who is it? Who is it? Oh, is that dead? Does that mean food? Does that equal food? Yeah. Uh-oh, sliding. We're sliding. Little Greeny's hopping around like a bunny. You're a bunny. Yes, you are. So what happens next? Um, six weeks, they get their shots. They've been having all their deworming. So they'll get more at six weeks. And then I'm um, going to go ahead and send out... Um, Really, the majority on this list already have our dogs, so I haven't been sending a lot of paperwork so far just because um, they've already been there, done that. But I'll send out um, just some more reminders, uh, specific dates, things like that, so that you know um, how to schedule your vet appointments, so that you know when your next set of shots are due. And um, so they're gonna get theirs uh, at six weeks old, which is Wednesday, they'll get their shots. And then um, the next set is due at nine weeks. It's a three, week interval with this particular manufacturer of these vaccines so you always go by the recommended um you know if, if you're when you go to your vet once they get their shots if they have them another two weeks or so that's because they're going on the recommendation of the, the manufacturer for their vaccines we all get them from the same place um but there are different manufacturers to choose from different shots to choose from my particular puppy shot does not have um, leptospirosis in it because that is something that dogs tend to have a reaction with so we do not vaccinate for that here but uh, a lot of times your, your vet will ask if you would like that we always suggest that you do your combined puppy shot of all the shots that they had earlier at one time and then get your leptospirosis separately if you are gonna get it that way if there is a reaction um, you guys know what caused the reaction. And we always say stick around the vet for about 30 minutes, close in that area, and just watch your dog to make sure there are no reactions. Yeah. And then we'll be working on uh, crating. Right now, this is their first day without mama. Bree, uh, as you can see, these dogs are huge, they're fat, they're well fed, and we just can't let Bree be stuck down like that. She's uh, She has done her job and she's ready for a break. And uh, I think that they are, they're eating hard kibble. They don't need mama right now. So today is her last day with them, or she already spent her last time with them. She's outside running around singing songs. Yes, she's, she's happy because they're big babies. Look at that little spot. Can you see that little spot on the top of the head? Maybe I back away. I don't know if the sun will hit it just right. We've got a tiny little white spot on the head with uh, dark pink light. But anyway, so um, yeah, that's what's going on here. We'll start them with the buddy on crate training and then um, probably have Blue Guy by himself since he's so huge. And then we'll move them all by themselves and that'll be it. And then they're ready to be chosen and go home on the 12th. Everybody's coming over on Saturday, October 12th to pick their puppies and take them home. <gasps> yes, that's right. All right, guys, we're going to say goodbye. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye, blue boy. Say bye-bye, purple girl. Here's dark pink girl. Lime green girl. She winked. And orange boy. Can you turn around for us? Can you say hi? Whoa. Whoa. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.